What's up? My name's Ron. Welcome to another day in my life. So, this is the second time I've attempted to shoot this video. The first time, um, I had the camera in portrait mode, wasn't thinking straight, had it in portrait mode, went through the whole video. I was wearing my Revit Airwave pants, and I, had a, I got a jacket here to show you how this rain gear fits on over my gear. I started editing it, changed my mind, and I had already taken my riding pants off and put my jeans back on, so I'm just gonna do it with jeans this time. So it'll fit over the jeans, it'll fit over the riding pants. So my last video, I was discussing the um, uh, climb forecast rain gear that I was wearing. And although you could only see the sleeves, I thought, you know, a lot of people ask me questions about it, so I thought I'd do a little short video on it. And I'll go over the specs from the climb website real quick. Um, so let's say here, uh, it's guaranteed to keep it dry. Climb gear, it's rain gear. Gore-Tex pack light, two layer laminate technology. So that's what they're calling this, Gore-Tex pack light. So it breathes, so you don't have to worry about wearing like a vinyl rain suit or having a jacket with a, um, uh, a membrane in it that doesn't breathe. So it's like wearing a sauna if you're riding in the rain in the warm weather. This will not be that way. It'll, um, it's gonna be warmer, but, it's, but at least the, your sweat can evaporate and you'll have some airflow to your skin. It's got 3M Scotch light, reflective material, water resistant YKK zippers in the exposed areas, adjustable Velcro fastener wrist cuffs, adjustable bottom hem via a shock cord, packable jacket stuffs into its own pocket, uh, two exterior zippered hand pockets, Gore-Tex or Gore on-road certified for waterproofness. And that's for the jacket. And the pants are the same model brand, so I'm sure that they have the same, more or less the same thing. So as you can see on the, um, I'll bring them closer. So on the pants, um, I'm gonna get out of the light, but on the pants, it's like a little mesh bag, and this looks more like a, like a pouch, and I'll show you why that is. Now I guess we'll start with a jacket. So you just unzip this, and this is, this part right here is actually one of the, is the right side pocket on the jacket. So you just unzip it, and you can pull the jacket right out of itself. And uh, now this comes in black, as well as the uh, high-vis version. There you go, there you go. So there's a pocket that it just came out of right there. And this is the jacket itself. It's very light. Uh, as you can see, this is the high-vis version because I feel like, you know, you already have limited visibility in the rain. Uh, you might as well give uh, car drivers and other motorists uh, a better chance of seeing you. Um, so it's got reflective stuff there We're on the uh, Gore-Tex logo. It's got reflective on the back of the arms. Uh, the climb logo on the back is reflected right here. And I think that might be all the, re and the logo on the front here is reflective as well. And that's the jacket. I'm 6'1", I weigh about 196, 197 pounds. Uh, and I bought the extra large. I might have been able to get away with a large but uh, I've got long arm syndrome, and if I buy something that fits me in the torso, the sleeves normally come up to here. So uh, typically I gotta buy something a little bit bigger just so the sleeves fit. And you're going over a jacket, your arms are gonna be bent, and I wanna have as much uh, wrist coverage as I can, because you know, you gotta cover your gloves up. So the pants, like I said, come in this little pouch, and the pouch is, um, it's got this little shock cord to draw it tight right there. This pouch hangs inside the pants, and I'll try to show you that best I can. And they pull right out of that little pouch just like that. There you go. And as you can see, that little pouch, this is, this is the front of the pants like that. The little pouch just dangles right inside on the right front side there. And that's all it is. Just a little, looks like a little bag hanging inside. YKK zippers. Like I said, the pants unzip all the way here. I'll, I'll go ahead and put them on real quick. So. Even with boots on, you just stick it right here, and you're already out of the pants leg. And same with the other side. And the, the, is it, this is enclosed, so it's not like a pair of pants where the flies are. Right there. Snap these all the way, or zip these all the way down. Waterproof YKK zippers on the pants. Now, I don't know if you can see this, because I don't have the camera low enough. But on the uh, leg down here, there's three snaps that you can adjust the base of the pants. So depending on how big your boots are. Uh, the climb logo is reflective. This is reflective on both legs. And um, the climb logo here is reflective. They're very light, breathable, like I said. 
And um, so this is the climb induction jacket. So this is a summer jacket I would wear. In the warmer months, or hot months, should I say. Uh, I apologize that the mic is getting all this fabric rustling noise. And it's got the YKK zipper here. And this piece folds over the zipper with some Velcro, to, so you got double layered, and you got the, the Velcro wrist, cu wrist cuff so you can cinch it over your gloves so you don't get water in there. And this is it. And this is this. And uh, it's got. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's got the drawstring down here. And if you want to tuck this tight, there's a, there's a bungee cord in the back uh, on the neck right here. So you can adjust that so it holds your neck so you don't get water down your back. And the material inside the neck part is really soft. It's almost like a fleece-like material. So I'll see if I can get this packed up inside itself. I'll show you how that works. I have a weighted, so I really don't know how much, how light it is. So for reference, the climb induction jacket is a large. All right, so like I said, it tucks into its right side pocket here. And um, you just start tucking it in there. Maybe I'll speed this part up. Once you get it in there, it might take some finessing to get it, you know, straight so you, you're taking up the whole pocket so you can get it zipped up a little easier. I mean, it's, it's really easy to get it in there like I just showed you. You just got to get it stuffed in the right corners and pockets in there so you can get the zipper to work. And that's zipped up just fine and now you can mash it around and straighten it out a little bit, but you can stuff this in your saddlebag or your pannier, wherever you want it. And the pants are not much different. Again, you unzip them. Then you're all the way up to your belt. That's a high, that's, look at that, some leg, huh? Now I've had rain gear that you should have been able to pack or put on over your boots, but it wasn't, wasn't easy. I've had to take my boots off to put rain gear on before. So then, then again, you just take your little pouch that's inside here and um, just start shoving the pants into that little pouch. And the pouch is very stretchy, it's a very stretchy material. Not as compact as the um, the jacket pocket is, but it's um, it still works just great, just like that. There you go. And now the pants are in their little pouch. Pull the drawstring tight, and this is kind of you can squish this and mash it how you want it, or you can just cram it in your pannier behind something. And there you have it. And I really do like climb gear. Um, I think it's, it's it is expensive. But you get what you pay for, you know, the old saying, buy once, cry once. Um, and this is by far one of the best rain suits I've had. I've had others, like I said, but they really, they're hot. You sweat in them, you're, you get hot from, your clothes get wet from sweating, just as they would get wet from the rain. So anyway, that's the climb forecast, jacket and pants. Um, I hope this answered questions that people had from the previous video, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Y'all be safe. Now I'm going to drink some coffee and... Try to edit this video the second time. Later. Thanks guys for watching my video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. I, I really, really do. I mean, I'm having fun with YouTube and um, this year 
in the past year or two actually has probably been the, my best and favorite years of being a YouTube content creator. And that's because I've been able to meet in person um, other YouTube content creators as well as some subscribers. And to me that is the hands down my favorite part of YouTube is meeting subscribers out there and making new friends. So, you know, uh, this here most recently I've met um, Billy up there in Luray at his dairy farm. He, he introduced me to the girls, the cows, and his wife. I met her. And um, Billy Beth, appreciate that. And then I met Craig down in uh, North Carolina. Craig set me a box of chocolates up with an awesome trip, and you saw the video for that. And so the, the, all they are is names and people who leave comments on your channel, and all of a sudden now they're friends, and I really appreciate that. So leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to be in the area. We'll hang out. Maybe I'll be in your area one day. We'll meet up, have a cup of coffee or something else, and uh, become friends. And um, that's what YouTube is all about in my book. So you guys be safe. Thanks again. Really do appreciate you guys watching.